As a personal trainer, health or fitness professional, I think you can appreciate that having the right tools really makes a difference. And if you've got great tools, you can run a very efficient and a very slick business. And I've scoured the internet over the last six years to really find the most optimal way of running a business. And in this video, we're gonna talk about two of the most popular form building tools in the market right now. One is Google Forms and the other one is Jotform. I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons to each and really this video is to help you decide which one of those form builders is gonna be the best one for collecting data, doing client check-ins, receiving coaching applications, and the best tool for doing anything else that a form builder is gonna be useful for. So let's get into it. So let's start with Jotform. Jotform is very feature rich. You can do lots of different things. There's lots of customization involved. It's actually really easy to use and is a really premium way of creating forms for your business because it has a premium look and feel. On the other hand, you've got Google Forms, which is actually completely free. It is simpler to use, but it has got limited features and less customization options. But let's dive a little bit deeper into each one of these different tools. Now, before we do, if you're maybe looking for a personal training app to build workouts and coach your clients, then there's two recommendations in the description below. And if you wanna explore working with me to attract, convert, or attain clients, then there's also gonna be some more information linked in the description. So let's talk about the Jotform interface first of all. The thing I like about Jotform is it's drag and drop nature. So it's really easy to build forms using this particular platform and you can really customize it in a way where you like the look and feel of the form and, and it really captures everything that you need. Plus, if you wanna have more of a premium feel to your forms, you want them to look like your personal forms, you can really brand them up in a way that you like. The only thing I would say about Jotform is it can be a little bit overwhelming with all the different features and options and things to play around with, but with a bit of practice, and once you've been through it a couple of times, pretty straightforward to pick up. So Google Forms, on the other hand, is a much simpler interface. If you just want the, the simplest way of creating forms, this may be a better option for you. It lacks, though, the customization. You can't really remove their branding. You can change the colors, but if you want it to look and feel like your own form, then it's kind of limited in that sense, but it is a really simple and easy to use option. So let's talk about some of the more advanced features that you get with Jotform. Now with Jotform, you can use what is called conditional logic. So let's just say someone answers one of your questions. Based on those answers, it can then change the questions that that person sees next. So a really smart way to um, build forms. The next thing is it integrates with things like, like payment, uh, processes so that you can build uh, payments into your forms if you want to take payments. It also integrates with other uh, tools and, and tech really seamlessly. So if you want your forms maybe speaking to another part of your business, when someone fills out a form, it then triggers something else over here to happen and you want to build some automations, then Jotform is really good for that. Now Google Forms, as you're probably sensing in this video, is much more simplistic. It doesn't have all these fancy features, but it does integrate pretty nicely with any other of the Google Suite tools. So if you're using spreadsheets, for example, then it can integrate pretty nicely with Google Spreadsheets because it is a Google tool. And so that's one plus, one positive, but it is really limited on payment integrations and speaking to maybe third party tools and softwares. So let's talk about pricing and what's it gonna cost you to use these tools. We look at Jotform first of all. This is gonna be something that you can use for free and it's actually something that most people can get away with on the free plan because you can get 100 submissions a month and most people are not gonna get 100 submissions a month so you can probably survive on the free plan. Now that also allows you to build five forms. So if you need more than five forms, then you are gonna to need to pay for that. Now, something to remember though is we talked about the customization and all the fancy features earlier in this video when it comes to Jotform. 
And to unlock all of those features, then you would need to sign up to one of their paid plans. The first plan that they've got available is $34 a month, which is probably around 30 pounds a month. So on the other hand, you've got Google Forms, which is completely free. So if you're on a budget and you don't wanna spend money on all this tech and tools and software, or you just wanna limit it, then Google Forms is gonna be a great option for you because you can do everything that we've spoken about so far, completely for free, no hidden fees. And um, yeah, it's a great starting point for anyone who's on a very limited budget. So what's the verdict? Well, if you're just starting out, you're trying to keep costs low, you're happy with a simple approach, you don't necessarily need all the fancy features and branding, then Google Forms is probably gonna be the best option for you. If like myself, um, in my business, I want some of those additional features. I want the option to customize things and uh, I want a more professional looking approach. Going with JotForm and one of their paid plans is gonna be a better option. What I will say though is you can get a lot of the great benefits of JotForm on the free plan with 100 submissions. So I think that's maybe a middle ground between the free Google Forms and the paid JotForm is that free option with job form is really somewhere in the middle so if you found this useful give it a thumbs up and if you'd like me to maybe cover some other tools or tech or software then let me know in the comments and if you want to learn more about some of my favorite tools then you'll be able to find me talking about that on the youtube channel i'll see you in the next one